all right so like we said in that previous video the answer is compliment 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 that's option d however we can have a situation whereby we will have a substitute commodity what we call competitive demand that would be if the answer was just 0 0.6 if we are not having a negative sign that is we are just having 0 0.6 0 0.6 no negative uh sign to it the answer would have been substitute because the cross elasticity of demand for competitive goods is positive example can be okay let's have a curve like this so we'll prove that example of competitive goods are, are milo and bonvita bonvita if the price of milo is at p1 people will buy uh since the price is low people will buy more of milo so since they are buying more of milo they will be buying less of bovita simply because milo and bovita serve the same purpose so they will buy less of bovita they are buying more of milo because the price of milo is low but when the price of milo increases to p2 they will now start to buy less of milo and shift their demand to bovita so they will buy more of bovita at where q2 so when you connect these two curves together you have what a positive slope all right so the cross elasticity of demand for complementary commodity is negative while for competitive commodity it is positive so you will be wondering where am i getting all these questions from these questions i've gotten from my book so this is my book uh economics mathematical and graphical analysis you can get it on amazon you can just type the name on amazon you can type the author aha uh -huh, by peace you can type the name emga on google on amazon then you can get a copy for yourself thank you